I realized that our business is about volume, it's about efficiency, it's about productivity. But I want you to know before I take you to the next few slides that I went through fire and brimstone to learn all the painful lessons. And you guys should thank Canon and Mediacorp by where, hey, who are, where are you? I'm advertising for you guys, alright? <laughs> thank them for organizing this conference or seminar. What do you call this conference or seminar? No need to pay money somehow, right? You know how nice they are? Please buy Canon photocopier. <laughs> Very good, ah. Uh. <laughs> well, I realized that, you know, you are fortunate because you can sit down here and learn the lesson without going through what I went through. It's really different. You don't have to go through the pain. It's unnecessary. But I'm glad I went through because at least I learned how to speak in public now. At least I dare now. Lah. And I know you won't laugh at me. Even if you laugh, never mind. All right. I realized that we can only be profitable and we can only turn around after those lessons. I realized that bottom line is hire good, passionate people. I made a mistake. I hired charismatic people, people who look good outside, but inside no good. <laughs> I hired people with brain, but heart no good. I realized I was making all the mistakes. I was told by business school book that you must hire intelligent people smarter than you. It's stupid. Lah. You hire the guy too smart, he take away your business. <laughs> and that's what almost happened. So I realized I made the mistake. I should be hiring integrity, not intelligence. That is the top of it. Never forget that business is about integrity. You betray that even big boys fell apart. Remember that. So I learned that lesson. So I now look for people who are passionate. People who are purpose-driven and I want people who join me not because I pay them $100 more and put them from the competitor. If I can do that, someone can put them away as well. So I realized passion, purpose is everything. And we, that's what we did. And realized that putting the right person for the right job is very important too. We tried to send a guy to all meet doctors, you know. Now that you're doing a bit better, we try to connect with a doctor, send a, a what we call doctor relation officer to go and see the doctor and told him you every day are very easy, just four doctors will do. Can't even do it once sometimes. Write long report. In the end, I got fed up. I found, I found this cowboy, actually a lady. <laughs> Went out. She did a fantastic job. Not just made four, seven, five, seven, six. And she came back with all the testimonial from doctors. This is a real testimonial. Afterwards, I can show you if you really don't believe. <laughs> okay? You know what it's like to get test, test, testy, testimonial? <laughs> if you can't pronounce properly, just make fun of it, alright? That's the trick about public speaking. <laughs> testimonial from doctors. This lady did that, and it's amazing. And I realized that you want to get productivity, reward your staff correctly. Don't pay them high salary and they just switch off, do nothing. It doesn't make the sense. Pay them commission, do whatever it takes. And sometimes it's not about money. It's about the, the appreciation. So sometimes I bring my staff for private fine dining lunch, if they've done well. And sometimes this tall intern did a good job. He, go, he wore this and go around pulling people into our booth, you know. Very hardworking. So I appreciate him. I gave him a massage after such a long day. <laughs> uh, how many CEO massage you? Tell me. <laughs> Cannot find, all right. My team was struggling with a big account and I knew they were struggling. So I surprised them. I got the whole team member sunflowers. And they were like, wow, I never got sunflower in my life. No, not even my husband or wife gave me. You know, and it was amazing. And we buy balonglong juice. How many of you know what is balonglong? You don't know, come to MAC, we treat you to it, all right? Balonglong juice, healthy. And this lady was holding $50, not greening away. Because I realized this year, we have embraced Facebook. Last year, I hated Facebook. I said, waste of time. Now I realized we've got to do it. And we do it big. My staff just commented. Make one comment on my Facebook, right? you know win lottery, I give her $50 because no one else bothered to make comments. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized that a lot of people are setting standard too low for themselves. We're told by a, a client that you must fulfill certain obligation within uh, 14 days. Huh? You don't mind, uh, I just take one drink here. You know, and I staff, you know what they do? I know why they are struggling. They told me, Client asked 14 days, just finish at 13 days will do. Maybe for 13 and a half days, because if you do it too well, well, they will set higher standard. You know? I said, that's wrong. If you can do it one day, two days, do it. Because if you can do that, no one else can do it, and the contract will never run away from you. 
and the rest of the time please go and enjoy yourself i don't care because you've done your job don't shortchange yourself by setting the standard too low and when i say go and relax i really mean go and relax my office has got two massage chair massage chair seller down here i'm advertising for you <laughs> two massage chair and i told my staff go and have a power nap you know what it's like after lunch come back sleepy and pretend to work it's not productive all right i'd rather you go and massage yourself for 15 minutes after that you type the speed of light all right that is productivity so they are free to do that we also own a medical center and i realize that doctors you know hate to write reports every time they do a medical health exactly health screening full body screening they have to bring the report back home to type and they spend something at like 20 25 30 minutes type report and i wonder why the business never scale up because they purposely slow down see less patient less report to type i even tried to pay them didn't work one day my manager came to me he said both my full-time doctors went on leave and reservist now got 200 reports for you to type i said huh how how much time do i have 10 days i said you know next week i will go for a holiday i'll go for a, a church camp he said you don't produce com com customer complaint i said okay law so I went for my church camp, I spent afternoon, morning, I attend all the meeting, afternoon, I bury myself to write all the script and I produced automated health screening report. When I came back, I just run the script, 200 reports just printed out in five minutes. So when I came back, we were able to produce all the 200 reports in less than three minutes. It was only limited because we did not use Canon printer, not fast enough, <laughs> trust me. And now. I'm not worried about reports anymore. We can push the, the, the workload to the sky because the doctors are not bothered about reports anymore. And then we also do a lot of mass screening exercise. You know what I'd like to go on site, let you, do you smoke, do you drink, do you exercise, then come back and do data entry, convert to Excel file and generate reports, right? It's terrible. So we also automate that and we know that a lot of us still don't use computers. So you cannot roll iPad just like that, you know? So we decided to uh, use what I call optical mark recognition. It's actually a computer program on paper. It's like your O level exam, your total, you mark shit, shit, you know, all the assholes know how to write. By 4D, they know how to mark this paper. That's my premise. And when we come back, we just pass the paper through a photocopy or scanning facility such as Canon, you know. And then immediately all this report come up, barcoded, easy to read. And HR want to know who, how many people on my staff have smoke and drink, exercise and so on, right? All this report come up automatically. That is called productivity. All right? And we are in the business of helping insurance companies and clients control healthcare costs. They want information. They want who is taking all the MC. They want to know what kind of disease profile. They want to know which department is spending all the money. So they want to report. I have been to many countries and have seen the back end. They couldn't get reports up because they're just stuck in their, 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 their complicated back end system. They hire a lot of data entry clerks. You know, to process one million claim, they have 50 data entry card, another 40 operator system. The information empower you can sometimes lead you to realize that you're actually sitting on a pot of gold as well. And uh, this is the, the drug procurement that we did, okay? And in our medical center, we regularly collect feedback from clients. And I realized that you collect feedback, you better go through the feedback ourselves. And you better have a way to track because the staff, you know how it's like, huh? Good one, give to CEO, let him read. Bad one, throw away. So we serially number them. And then now we go a step further. I said I have to still go through, you know. So in the end, I decided we will build iPad. Let them do it on the spot. And all this information automatically generated. Bad one, alert me. Okay? And then every time we go for seminar, exhibition, I realize we've got to hug this kind of thing around. You know what it's like, right? Those of you organize seminar, you know what? Uh? Now you've got a spin wheel. Just bring a few iPad, put it on the pedestal, very cool. Give your company a cool image, just splash on it. Gee! Oh, you want this? And you know what? You can program how many times before you hit that particular item. <laughs> <laughs> you come to my booth, don't say I say that, all right? My staff will be angry. This one, uh, they also cheat, uh, okay? They put a little more iron on certain corners so that you know that's how they do. But we, we make it more in style, all right? You can program that. So these are things that we can do to improve productivity because you now don't have to hire a lorry just to transport the cumbersome machinery. That's productivity, all right? And you know, companies say that it's very troublesome to give up membership card. To produce membership card is very troublesome. You know what it's like for a teacher to issue 40 exercise books to the class? Tanakao, your book. Tanatek, your book. Tanalian, your book. 
Now imagine the company with 100 outlet, 2,000 staff all over Singapore. How to distribute membership card? What happened you terminate? How to take back? What happened you lost? So in the end, I decided, and also all of us do like to carry membership card. Why don't we fill out all the Visa card and Go card and all that, right? So someone add one more membership card. Sometimes go to the clinic, never bring, get scolding. So I said, let's go virtual. Everybody have iPhone. Who don't have iPhone? Okay, if you don't have buy Android, also we have an app for that. Virtual card. I advertise for Apple as well, you know. And then, you know, a lot of people don't like to exercise, so I said exercise must be fun. So our staff innovated and they produced this app called Health Challenge. It's on beta testing. We try it, work. Next time you can go and download and try it and join us for the fun. And you, you, you know, you navigate using the iPhone, follow with the GPS coordinate, and then we reach there and say, pop, you are here. Now everybody do five, uh, as many star jumps as possible and video that I put out to YouTube, then you have a lot of social interaction. That made exercise fun. This is productivity at work. You incorporate Leadership training, team bonding, exercise, keeping fat, having fun all together with one app. That is productivity because Singapore, uh, you know, very challenging, very stressful, we don't have time. So you've got to learn how to put all things together. Even exercise, you must watch TV at the same time. That's how you exercise and stay fit at the same time, all right? And watch TV and stay fit at the same time. And you really, if, you, if, you, if you're running a small company, you don't have funds and resources to build big computers, never mind. A lot of cloud computing services are all very cheap now. Uh, Sugar Sing and Dropbox and all these things, you can actually use it. It doesn't mean you, your big company cannot use it. You can use it, big or small. These people are catered for all kinds of sizes. Now you can make your information available, okay, on all these uh, to all these apps and so on. And if your bosses, remember the staff salary is ten thousand, five thousand. If your computer is, you know, is slow and you keep doing this and waiting for the computer to, to refresh, you are wasting resources. The salary is so high, for goodness sake, buy him a Pentium, a quad-core computer, a 8 gig RAM. Seriously, the salary costs more. Upgrade the computer, because to us, speed and power is everything. Get them a powerful computer, you get more done. That's productivity, all right? And I don't hesitate to give my staff iPad. They say yourself. So much money. I said, I'm going to give you $1,000, but I paid $990. It's still cheaper. And I look so good in front, you know. And I can take pictures and show off some more. <laughs> and then you know what I do with the iPad? Of course, they watch movie. I know that. <laughs> at the same time, you know, they go home. If they ever come home late, you know, at least they pass the, the, the iPad to the wife. They play game. The wife don't nag at them anymore. <laughs> and sometimes once in a while, they check email. That's productivity. All right? And every time we, we have received a lot of call from individual and a client and say, oh, where are your nearest clinic? Uh, can I have this clinic? Can I know where are the clinic in Bukit Merah? So many calls. So because of that, they hire more people just to take call. I say, let's empower them. Put all this clinic on the iPhone. Everybody has iPhone or, or Android phone, right? Put an app called Clinic Locator. Just key in your IC number. It'll show you where the nearest clinic. This is called productivity. Why should my staff answer calls just to tell people where the clinics? And you know, we can sleep, but clients sometimes don't sleep. 2 a.m. they still want to book an appointment. Oh, I forgot tomorrow I go and want to book an appointment see doctor. They, and they call our office. Sorry, we are closed at the moment. But the computer, is, the internet is not off. So we decided to build an appointment system, cell help, to cut down the number of calls to come in just to book appointment. That's crazy, you know? This unproductive time. Who wants to sit in front of the, the, the uh, telephone just to take call on uh, when is the appointment I can slot in and so on? Why don't you make it available 24 by 7 and we come, we also build in the email and SMS alert. So all these are things that we automate so that we can free our staff time. And uh, our office, uh, we realize space is expensive, so we let our staff have fun. Our staff, our conference table is a table tennis table and there's also a massage chair. And also they can play game in the office, they can do partying, they can cycle, you know, they can play table tennis and, and, t and then our Office ambiance, eh? we have a popcorn machine, coffee machine, and uh, even a shower and a toilet as well. So it's like home, so it's very productive, and we encourage creativity, encourage them to tell jokes, and we have a creative crew who produce movie, movie poster, eh? poster, eh? Photoshop all our faces on it, make our stuff look like movie star, and let them have creative time, they produce their own Indian dance music and, uh, and, and, and video. And sometimes we have durian parties, birthday parties, we bring them out for outdoor, because I realized that Work has to be fun. If work is fun, the bottom line will settle by itself because the staff spend eight hours at work. So they better look forward to work 